since we got cut off in the last tape for a few minutes which was our conclusion prayer so that which is our purpose on this earth being kept alive to be the scribes Matthew 13 52 in comparison to Matthew 28 19 to make them disciples and in comparison to the work for which we have been taken in part a of this tape of today's date it goes on to prove for us that we should be the ready scribes the prepared scribes the pri the scribes of his glory and that is what when we have been sent to witnesses matthew 23 34 the world to recognize that we are the people of wise and great understanding and we are the people of his work on this earth to the praise of his glory before lamentations 2 15 could be applied to our lives be aware dear brethren that we should be not wagged or hissed by the so-called prince of the power of this air to tell is this the perfection beauty of the Lord of a God the consummation of the kalal of the Lord's mind or is this the joy in the divine treasure given for us in this earth but we have everything for us in the church age so that when we stand in his presence, we shall not be ashamed, but we shall be the praise of his glory in his grace. Dear brethren, think about these issues. We have been given the great and the best and the highest life of all time. The problem of Lamentations 2.14 resulting un in ungodliness is the result for unrighteousness. The ungodliness, what we can look in Romans chapter 8 as well, because the way how they fail to become the Lord's mind, the greater the world also ended up in the terms pertaining to its corruption so it is in the midst of today's christendom as well dear brethren when the prophets have failed to expose to gala the right word of the lord of a god and that's what we have been looked upon the gala the stark exposition the exposition of their nakedness of the sin to understand to their own soul rather than making them to understand and to be exposed to their own soul the sin what they're practicing the people are covering and they're covering to such a manner to say though you have been dead in Christ if you don't bury it's not an issue but the word of the Lord our God says for us if we are dead in Christ we are buried in Christ and we have to be risen in Christ and there is no excuse for us a baptism what you take as a water one is not that for your salvation it is a testimony to say that you have been buried in Christ the filth of this flesh has been out and you are ready to take to be dying like a martyr to the Lord of our God by taking the responsibilities to become like men. But you haven't been becoming like the eunuchs, the utopian eunuchs. Far less you could be the men of First Corinthians 10, 16, 10 when he says for us, be like men, be courageous and stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ our Lord our God has set us free. Think about this issues, dear brethren, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. Inaudibly telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon my Christ, my Lord, my Rock, my Savior, that is the moment itself, you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us is very simple. Believing Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the greatest merit is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine, wherewith you shall learn to acquire, to pause us to know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor, teacher, the greatest merit is to care with Lagan. Remember Deuteronomy 4 6, dear brethren, that by the wisdom which you teach them and the understanding which you shall give in sight of all the nations which you shall listen, the mystery doctrine of the church age, they should consider you and say, Surely this is Gadol, Magalas, a great people or a nation of Kainiketesis in the church age, of great Kakma and of great Bene or Sunedesis, the understanding of his will. Dear brethren, daily coming to Bible class, Luke 9, 23 is the principal work of the pastor teacher to make them so that they could come every day to Bible class. And the principal work of the believers is to carry their cross and to come. And the pastor teacher is to be aware about Acts chapter 20 verses 26 through 31 to teach them which is nothing but the truth. The truth every day, every day, every day. Remember Luke Leviticus 6, 23, which teaches 6, 13, which teaches for us morning one hour, evening one hour, the way how they have to give the fire of the altar of the Lord of our God shall ever be burning to give sacrifice so shall be the pulpit for the pastor teacher to teach every day the mind of Christ and if they don't exegete isolate and categorize it though they are not able to make it up face to face the teaching of the Lord's mind they shall certainly end up in the things which they think they are great but the Bible
Bible doctrine calls, they are not the chosen one of the Lord, but they are the kleptes, lestes, misthotes, thupas, canapes, tiflos, and shelros oriented minded pastors who have rejected the right authority of the Lord's mind to be there in the pulpits and they have inculcated their own standards. Think over these issues, not to worry about the softies. Softies come and softies go. We are here to honor Lord's word above his name. Though we suffer like Second Corinthians 11 as Apostle Paul. But we have every day to be worried about the marine care for the church, which we have to teach for them to the praise of his glory. Dear brethren, think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Infinitely Divine Holy Father, what a privilege it is for us to learn about Lamentations 2.15 in comparison to the way how Satan could tell about these church age believers who haven't been thy perfection of beauty, though have made them to be perfection of thy beauty at the positional sanctification. Father, let they could understand the joy of you is always in us when we follow according to thy word, as you say in John 17, 13 and 14, the world hates us because they don't have the word of God, but our joy is fulfilled only when we walk through thy word. Help us, O Lord, to do thy will more accurately as we go through this, so that, Father, in this pilgrimage trip, there is nothing more important for us than to become your scribes by writing down at least once in our life, if needed, kneeling down in thy presence, writing the second time in the interlinear, writing the third time and going on to write till 20 two times so that we could understand there is nothing important for us in the in the vigor and the valor that you have given for us through thy word which drives us to have that great health of a spiritual one in return giving for us that eye of faith and eye of understanding to thy will so father see if there is an offense away in us such as diligently help us to examine ourselves to the most innermost deep thoughts of our life if there is any sin O lord that is cutting off our relationship or in the terms if there is anything O lord in the flesh that has been not buried yet Help us to bury with Christ, O Lord, and be walking a life risen in Christ. We are talking about those kleptes, O Lord, those false pastor teachers, O Lord, who have simply taken the pulpits by becoming their entertaining clones and not teaching line upon line, word upon word, precept upon precept in this church age with the original exegesis, isagogues, and categories with the right dispensing technique of dispensations, O Lord. Give them thy grace and wisdom to understand what a great love we have for you rather than showing the love of adulterous one which has been not at all accepted in their sight. Help them to teach the word in spirit and in truth as they are also teaching, O Lord. Help them to come back and look the original language of the scriptures so that thy flock is considered. As you have said to Jonah, the people who haven't learned to discern between left and right, so are many Christendom believers who haven't learned the importance of scribe and yet they are waiting for the rapture, O Lord. Teach them to be perfect through thy grace by providing those great pastor teachers who could certainly train them up in thy infallible and inerrant original language of the scriptures, thy word. In Christ's matchless, peerless, gracious name we pray, Father, may Lord God the Holy Spirit enlighten us in these tapes. Amen.